back um, for Subnautica to continue our adventure in the deep sea. And once it gets loaded up here, um, it's going to be kind of a short stream. Um, I'm streaming on my lunch break currently and I have some extra time that I have to comp because I had some on calls this weekend. So um, this is probably going to be about maybe an hour uh, for this. Let's see what riches we find and uh, kind of creatures we find and whatnot. As soon as this gets loaded up. Altera. Alrighty. So looks like we're standing on top of the pod. Let's get re familiar with what we had going on here. Alright. And we had a signal over here. Let's go take a look at that. To start things off with. Absolutely love how beautiful this game looks. Eventually, um, after we complete this one, I do have Subnautica Below Zero, which I have not played at all. Um, so that'd be a fun thing to stream too. Get my kind of my first reactions uh, with that game was uh, Below Zero. I have played through Subnautica though, but I've missed a lot uh, through my first playthrough. Got a PDA. And what was that? Damn little biter fish trying to bite me. That looks deep. I think that might be the Jelly Shroom Caves, if I'm not mistaken. That'd be kind of cool to be able to get to, but I think we need to get the Sea Moth for that. Which I don't know if I have it unlocked just yet. Let's see here. Nope, I do. Okay. So we need a Power Cell, Ingot, and Lubricant. And then Lubricant, Glass, Power Cell, Ingot. Alright, so the ink will be easy. The power cell. I think I need some copper and stuff. I need to go up and get oxygen because I just wasted it looking through my inventory. Yeah, because I gotta make some batteries. I also think I need some silicon rubber for that too. So. Copper there. Oh, I wish I had a beacon. Ooh. I don't think I've been to this wreck just yet. What riches do you hide? Passing 100 meters. There's a scanner. scanner room fragment. Let's go ahead and get this picked up. Oh, this is a big wreck. Um, it's a bunch of scrap metal. Scrap metal. There's another scanner room fragment. I think I got all the fragments though for the scanner room, so I don't... I'm just getting titanium for this. Oh! Actually, I lied. I didn't need it. While I'm happy, I got it. Alright, what's in here? Anything? Nope, nothing of use in there. That's another scanner room fragment there, I think. Thirty seconds. 
Up we go. Yeah, it'd be nice once we get the seam off and I don't have to keep going, popping back up for oxygen all the time. Alright, let's see if there's a way to get in this piece of ship here. If there is, that would be nice. Okay, so that looks like a door that you could cut through. I don't have the laser cutter yet. This might be one that you can't get in. It's an awful big piece for it not to be not to be able to get into it. Yeah. I'm not too sure. It might have a place somewhere other Oh, nope, that's full of crud. Can't get into that one either. Yeah, I think to be able to get into this one, you have to have the laser cutter. I think you can cut through this door. Oh, wait. Ah. Alright, let's, let's go up and get some air. And then we'll go through that hole that's punched in right there. And we'll see if there's anything... Earth. Ooh. Yes, battery chargement. Charger. Absolutely need that. Propulsion cannon. Alright, let's go. That's some disinfectant water. We have a command chair. Gotta keep an eye on my oxygen. Gotta remember, breathing's important. Ooh, we got a PDA. Nice. We have a bench. There's another laser cutter right there, too. Nice. So we have the PDA. Another battery charging. We got a radio message. Nice. We got the battery charger. Um, and I need to get... Oh, shit. I'm getting turned around. Fuck. How did I... This way, this way, and then this way. And then we make a sprint for the surface. Do not want to die. No... Fixation for me, please. Alright. Alright. Let's go back in here. Let's go back in here. This comes down. Oh man, you can get really turned around in this one. What was that? Oh, for the floodlight. Okay, we'll grab that real quick. There's just a couple laser. Some more fragments. Battery charging fragments. Did I actually get the battery charger? Yeah, I did. Alright, so... We're good. We got all the things. Alright, there's the door. Alright, that was a really good find. I'm happy we found the battery charger. Um... Really happy about that. Alright, let's head back down. So we still need to get, like, coal. Or not coal. Oh, I'm thinking of Minecraft. We need to get copper. To be able to build some batteries. Uh, some lead. Do need lead. Some silver, that'd be good. Because we need to make some s wiring kits. Oh, is that a, that's a laser cutter? Some more lead. 
hear you, giant octopus man. Grab that, grab that. Some more over here. Some down here. Some gold. 53. Oh, inventory full. Okay, well. Um, oh man, those guys look so cool. I love the reef backs. The gentle giants of Subnautica. Unless if you count the tiger plant on their backs, but I won't hold that against them. Uh oh. Emergency. A quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. The reactor will reach a supercritical state in T minus ten. Um nine, eight. Should I not be in the water for this? Five. Four, oh shit. Three, two. Okay. Wow, that's bright. Jeez, always. That's a Geiger counter. Radiation suit. That's nuts. That is so nuts. That was cool. That was super cool. That never gets old. Every time it does it, it's just, it's just wow. Just wowed every time I see that explosion. It looks so good. All right. So I th think I already actually have everything I need for the radiation suit. Um. Oh no, I need two fiber mesh. I only have one. Well, poop. That's what I say to that. Um. I could drink some of that water. Free up some inventory space. We can make a battery. And I need some silicon rubber for that. Um, I need the titanium ingots. I actually need two of those. So I need some creep vine seeds, some creep vine samples. And we need some more glass. So if I. Oh, I got one glass. Um, I have the one battery here. So, yeah. Oh, I have both ingots made already, so that works. And I have a lubricant. I'll need another lubricant. Um, and some creep vine samples. Where am I at? Where am I at? There's the Aurora. I think the creep vines are right over here. Right? Yeah, there they are. I always get turned around in this game. That's one of my biggest problems in this game is I get turned around a lot. The fuck was that? Is that the stalker? Holy shit, that fucking scared the shit out of me. Oh, inventory full. Crap. Um. I guess I only need two, maybe? That stalker just literally scared the patootie out of me. Man, I thought. I thought a, a Reaper was nearby or something. I don't know why they sound so, so girthy, so scary. Oh, I mean, my heart, heart pump. Calm down, heart. Oof. Whew. Got a radio message as well. Um. So I need the mesh. I need the rubber. And 
with that, I should be able to make a power cell. Oh, I need the other battery. The one that's almost dead. The lubricant. Deployables. Make the power cell. And now I can go to deployables and make the mobile vehicle bay. Right, and then I need to make. Gotta grab that other fiber mesh. And we need to make the radiation suit. Very nice. All right. Um, can I make the... I am going to make a beacon. Because I'd like to mark the jelly shroom caves. So I'd be able to find them again. So I'll find something in this game and I'll never be able to find it again. What did I need for... The compass. A wiring kit. And copper wiring. I know this is... Not... What I was going for, but... I kind of want the compass. I need another copper. Do I have one hiding in here? I do not, but we can put this gold and silver in here. And then we can go down here, because I think... Whoa. I just have water and titanium in there. You're useless to me. Alright. We gotta go find some more copper, unfortunately. I kinda goofed on that one, I suppose. Crash fish. Even that little explosion sounded way more. I wonder if it's because I just turned up the the ambient sounds a little bit. Maybe beforehand I wasn't um, I wasn't I wasn't just hearing them. Maybe beforehand. Scuttlebug. I like the scuttlebugs. They're cool looking. Ooh, radio message. I need to go check that radio. I think that's two messages now. You guys got any more teeth over here? You guys were... We're stockpiling a bunch of teeth over there that I picked up earlier. That's titanium. I don't need titanium. I need... Copper, please. There we go. Hi, tiger shark, or sand shark, whatever. Ow! Wow, 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 wow. Whoop, air. Need the air. All right. Get some breathing going on. I am really close to the aurora. I need to be careful. Because there is a reaper. Somewhere over there. And I'd rather not take it off. Oh, am I at the jelly shroom cave? Yeah, yeah. Alright, so. Let's grab my inventory out. And. Let's drop this beacon. Mushroom cave. Now I know where to look for it. Is 
Inventory full. Oh, and my Seamoth is almost out of power already. Jeez, these things are just burning through power now. As I probably need to get a, um, a small habitat set up with a battery charger. Now that I can build one, so I can charge batteries. Be a lot easier than making, keep making new batteries. But I do need to get this mobile vehicle base set up. I'd like to get the Seamoth built in this episode. I would like. So, this here, I need mushrooms. Crap. Alright, let's go drop the vehicle bay. I guess I technically need to sign this. And then we'll do that. And then we'll pick up some mushrooms. Probably just picked up way too many mushrooms, but it will be okay. Electronics, battery, 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 I'm going to make three because I need one for my sea moth, or not my sea moth, my, uh, heart, dirt, 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 dirt. sea glide, that's what it is, it is a sea glide, alright, that's a power cell, so, lubricant, glass, ingots, lead, one glass. I have ingots. I need to make a lubricant. Um, and get two more quartz for glass. Yeah, that seems right. Might as well go ahead and make a copper wire. And that way I can make the compass real quick too. Which is something else I wanted. Equipment, co compass. There we go. Hey, I can tell which way I'm going now. Alright, um, lubricant. That's what I needed. And we're gonna go ahead and assign you to three. And we're gonna go ahead and assign you to five. That way I can click you easier. Seed clusters. No, oh, I missed him. Missed him too. And my inventory's full. Those, just those two. All right. Sounds wonderful. All right. So we'll get the sea moth built, and I guess we'll go look at the jelly shrimp cave. Because I never, I didn't really get to explore, I didn't explore it much in my last, last time I played this game. I pretty much only went and found the habitat real quick. But I didn't actually like, really explore the, that biome that much. So, we'll, uh, I'm going to do that a little bit more, a little bit more this time. And see if I missed anything. Let's rest under the radio. Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. I didn't know how bad, how many of you. I didn't, I didn't know. know. We're now Sunbeam. At your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. Awesome. What else can I say? The only time I parked a rig this 
big on a rock that small was in VR. And I blew it. It's a bad option, all right, but so are all the others. I think he was supposed to turn that off before the... I don't think I was supposed to hear that part. All right. Oh, I forgot about the quartz. Of course. There's always something I forget. Always. All right. So somewhere there should be a giant coral tube. That I can never find. Hey! Giant coral tube. There it is. I found it. Sweet. This is exactly... Whoa, 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 whoop, 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 nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 nope. Hey, you just killed a bladderfish, I'll take it. Might as well just go ahead and copper. Grab it. More copper. Um do 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 that oh, inventory full of course it is that's cool it was right here not too far from the pod at all all right so let's get this built where'd that little bay thing go mobile vehicle bay oh yeah oh right <laughs> You have to go make the glass first, Matthew. Oh boy. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> Gotta make glass. Damn it, that was the whole reason why we wouldn't got quartz. If anyone's with me in the chat, say hello, please. It'd be nice to hear from you. Welcome to the channel if you're there. Uh, we'll make another glass just to have it. Alrighty, already, already. Alright. See moth time. I'm so excited. I cannot hide it. Finally, I won't have to swim to the surface every 135 seconds. Oh yeah, here we go. You told me I swim too much last time when I you're like you said it was my favorite activity even though it wasn't my favorite activity. And you said I exceeded my exercise quota by like 500%. That's no, I want the lazy mobile air bubble. Is what I want. All right. Awesome. This is great, and I love it. I love this plan. All right. So let's wait until daytime. Let's do a little bit of base building. I think. Which is probably terrible to do at night, but. Whatever. This is what we're working with. Alright, so let's put a foundation down, even though I don't think I really need a foundation here, but... You gotta think of a good base. You gotta start with a good a good base structure. You know, a good foundation to build a base. And this is just going to be a small little hub, I guess you could say, for me to start charging stuff, so... Let's not start it with that. Alright, so I guess we'll start with this this little X compartment. And we'll put um, a tube on it like this. And we'll start... Oh, you need quartz, not glass. Well, crap. Alright, well... Go we'll see if I can't find that big tube again. You know, this thing's about to die in like 2.5 seconds. What's this? This looks like a whole big hole. Oh! Need a battery change. Well, here's some quartz, so that worked out. Go back home. So I can build that hatch. Be 
Yeah, like a Hatchimal. Alrighty. more quartz. It's always quartz. Always. Any quartz in here? Just one. Oh, crap. Why does everything want to eat me? Ah, shit. No, 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 no. All the nopes. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. I want to get a few more quartz because I'm going to need it to build um, solar panels. So, as of right now, it's going to be the only way. Hey, here's the giant core. Coral tube. You should have some more quartz. I need to get some food. Some food, Ed. Soon. And I guess I might as well grab some of this stuff while I'm here. Because it does, it gets really expensive when you start building some bases. And I do like my base building. Absolutely love my base building. Alright. Oh, oxygen, Matthew. You need to breathe. Two of these. Power restored. All primary systems online. Let's get two of these built. They don't provide much power, but kind of limited at what I can build right now. I do have a bioreactor though, but that gets tedious. All right, so I need a wiring kit and copper wire for the battery charger. Um, which I have silver. I have. I, I think I can actually build that right now. Sweet! I love it. I love it a lot. I love this plan, and I'm happy to be a part of it. Alrighty, so let's go ahead with the copper wire and the wiring kit. down and I've already forgot where I built this thing it's pretty sad when you already forget that quick Welcome aboard, Captain. well thank you we're gonna go ahead with the battery charger Throw you on there. Get you charging. The rest of you look fine for right now. Alright. Um, what else do I want to build in here? Suppose I can build a radio in here as well. Just for the giggles of it. A 
Shocker would be good too. Distress call. This is Officer Keen in Light Pod 19. The captain is gone. I have assumed command. Okay. The thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We dry land. One and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Nice. So we could probably do that in the next stream. I want to go look at the jelly shroom cave, but I need to eat and drink. I need to catch some fish. Come here. Ah, oh, shit. Too quick. Too quick. There we go. Um, where are you going to... There you go. Get you. Get you. Um, well, that's a weird place for a biter. I don't see any bladder fish. No, I do not. Where are the bladder fish? There is one. Doink. A fabricator in the base would be kind of nice, too. I didn't think about that. That way I don't have to keep going back to the life pod. Alright, let's cook up some of these delicious sea creatures. And... I'll fill that up. Dang, how many peepers did I get? A little bit of water. Get some water, which... I just forgot I had a bunch of water in the floating locker below the life pod. But that's okay. So, nom, 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 noms. Nom, nom. Alright. And... Yep, and I don't need to drop anything off. I don't think I can. And we will go in here. We will take this baby for a cruise. That's Officer Keen. Mushroom cave, here we go. I'm excited. And I just killed the fish. Fish, dead. Oh wait, how deep is this? I might not be able to go down here yet. Oh shit, there's a base down here. That's a very big snake. Back it up, 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 back it up. Okay, well... I guess we can't go to the Jelly Shroom Cave just yet. Oh, I could make a run, a swim from here down to there. Oh, okay. Um. The conditions in this cave support a microcosm of unique, possibly predatory life forms. Detecting an artificial structure somewhere in the region. Really? It's right in front of me. Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. Let's get down here. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Thermal power plant fragment. That's nice. That's a biter fish. Oh, 
cool. We got the thermal power plant. Modification station. I gotta keep an eye on my oxygen. And get the multi purpose room for our base building. That's gonna be good. Shit, where's my Seamoth? This sound so creepy. What's in this? Oh, that sounds so bad. I don't like it. I don't like you. Stop swimming towards me. Oh shit. Nope, 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 nope. Big snake thing with teeth. Okay. We're okay. Let's go down. Integrating new PDA data. Drooping stinger. get some oxygen. I probably should go to the Aurora. I think you get a depth module that allows you to take the seam off to like 3,000 feet. Or not 3,000, but 200 or 300 feet is what I mean to say. And I'd, that'd be a lot safer than what I'm doing right now. Being very risky. I'll watch these stinger things. They will screw you up. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Ah. New PDA data. High capacity tank. Ultra high capacity. Shit, 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 shit. Oh no! The Death Stinger things, damn it! Ah! God bless it. Knew that was gonna happen. Those Death Stingers always get me. Never, it never fails. Crime and I lost so much stuff. Ugh. Hurts my feelings. And my sea moths down there now too. Ugh. Alright, we'll get air and then down we go. Gotta go back in there. Grab all my stuff. Oxygen efficiency decreased. I think the poison's what yeah, the poison killed me. It wasn't the oxygen. Alright. Let's try this again. Wish there was a way to like maybe kill those or get rid of them.
I don't know where all my stuff went, but it's not in here now, so. Alright, so I know there's a couple more things in here that I need to try to get, but it's going to be hard. With um, not having um, the bigger oxygen tank and not being able to take my seam off down to the building itself. Because um, there's, I know there's another compartments I need to look at. I think. Like, I see a PDA in that top one. And then there's. back into this, top off my tank. Hopefully we can try to get that top PDA without dying this time. Come on. Get through. Integrating new PDA data. I suppose I did not need to scan this in here. Alright, get back to the sea moth. Oh, ah, shit. Yeah, I really don't know if that's what killed me last time was the stinger or if it was the oxygen. I think it was the stinger. Alright, so there's one more compartment we gotta get into. We gotta go in then up, and then back down. Oh, no, we don't. Oh, shit, 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 shit. No, thank you. I don't want to die. Is that really just a up and down? I guess so. Well... Shit. And this is where you get killed, Matthew, because you can't get out. Uh. Okay. So I say we're done for the jelly shroom until we get the sea moth upgrade, the depth, depth module. Because I, I really can't explore this efficiently or safely, if I may add. So, we have it marked with the beacon, so we can come back at any time. So maybe by then, we'll be able to get to the, um, get to the aura, get the depth module, and we'll go from there. And it just got really dark. My dude is really hungry. Stabilizing. We need a table coral sample, which I have in here. Alright, what else do I need? Um, 
build a locker in there. It's all decorative stuff. I do not have arrow drill yet. Nor do I have the stuff to build the thermal power plant. Which I wonder if you can get that in the jelly shroom cave. I bet you you can get that stuff in the jelly shroom cave. I did get the multi-purpose dome though, so that will be nice for our base building attempts. Ooh, I love the blue goat low of it. Just looks so cool. That's what I'm talking about. Come back to a freshly charged battery. Throw you in there. Get you charged back up. We will then come in here. We will build a fabricator. I don't have enough titanium, apparently. Let's go collect some um, metal salvage real fast if we can find any. There's some right there. I'll grab you. Build some lockers. Come on, stalkers. Got this tooth. Stalker teeth. We'll get back to base. make the make it into titanium duh how could you forget that Matthew how down for the storage of stuff and just for the giggles It's too small. Too small of a zone to try to build that. Alright. Suppose we can build the trash can. Eh, I guess I could maybe extend this too. Let's see. Let's go look. Let's see what we're working with here. Let's see. No, I think I have some lead in here. We can build another foundation. Nope, I got some titanium. This glass in there, throw this water in there, throw this tooth in there, throw this shroom in there. Yep, there. 
there's my lead. We can build another foundation on the side here, and then we can build that multi-purpose dome. And then we can actually, you know, do a little bit of interior design. You know, make us think of our home a little bit more. You know, it's just gonna bug me that it doesn't sit flat, or it doesn't center itself. I guess it's a swivel chair, but you can't actually swivel in it. Not enough room to sit. Well, I feel like I'm a bit far from that desk, but I think it's just for aesthetic purposes. I don't think I actually ever need this. Uh, apparently, he needed this. Uh, <laughs> All right. And we'll deconstruct this, and then we'll push it a little closer. Maybe kind of do one of these numbers. Kind of have it off to the side a little bit. That way, I think we can still sit in it. But we can kind of still pretend we're kind of working at the desk. No, I don't think I really like this counter here. I think we'll move that. I think we're going to put the bed over here. And we can maybe put the counters, well, probably right here next to this trash can would be a good spot. Yeah, I like that. Alrighty, well, it's been about an hour, guys. I gotta get ready to get back to work. Um, so, yeah. 
got quite a bit done today. We got the Sea Moth, we got the Mobile Vehicle Bay, uh, we got the Multipurpose Dome. We kind of went and looked at the the mushroom biome a little bit. Um, unfortunately, we can't get down there because the Sea Moth uh, can't go past 200 meters. Um, I think we have to go to the Aurora for the depth module for that. Uh, we could probably do that in the next stream. We'll go and explore the Aurora and see what's going on in there. Um, the Sunbeam is en route to uh, come pick us up, get us off this rock. So there's that um, to look forward to. I'm really happy we found the battery charger. This is going to make a big difference. Um, I know in my first playthrough of Subnautica, I it took me forever to find the battery charger. Um, I didn't get it until pretty late in the game, and it was pretty awful. Same thing with the power cell charger. Um, I didn't get that until late in the game either. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I hope everyone enjoys. Um, if you tuned in during the stream, I want to thank you for tuning in. Um, and if you would be so kind to drop a follow, uh, that would be nice as well. Um, I am going to be posting this on YouTube as well. So if you're over on the YouTube side of things, please hit that like button and subscribe. And we will see you guys next time here on Death X Evil Gaming. And we will see you next time. <laughs>